Governor Parkop visited the construction site this afternoon to see that work progress has reached 60 percent and is on schedule for the completion date October 21, 2017. The 4.5-kilometer four-lane road known as the Kora Way links Waigani Drive to the Hanwabada Bypass. Initially, the road was supposed to connect Waigani Drive to the Badihagwa High School, but plans changed. Okay, the initial plan for this road was supposed to go to Badiagua, so it comes to the runabout at Badiagua, but uh, because it might interfere with the school and cause uh, a lot of uh, other challenges relocating the school, uh, it's a bit hard for us with learners and, you know, uh, limited co uh, commodity. So uh, that's why we've diverted it here. Um, but the cost, you know, did not uh, really uh, go up or blow up. 250 energy-saving lights will be installed to power up the road. Mr. Pakop said the project has also provided a way for other services, such as water, sewerage, electricity and telecommunication services, to be added to the area. The idea for us, uh, for the city, is uh, to expand the city. For me as governor, is to expand the city. Population is growing, our business is growing. Uh, we have to think about the future create more opportunities, create an environment by which business can grow, uh, people can uh, access uh, education and work and, you know, on time and, um, yeah, on time and safely. So we continue to do that on the part of uh, NCDC and my... Governor Parkop said the project has generated about 400,000 cubic meters of field materials. Almost all of them are used for the Ella Beach redevelopment. He said there are plans for another road to link Cora Way to Sir William Skate Highway to link at the Baruni Bypass. If that materializes, the second phase of the Ella Beach redevelopment will be completed. Deli Waigeno, National, MTV News.